Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be unboxing the Lego clock and um, the Lego brick 3x3. So let's just cut open this box right now. And also, I'm not sure if it's called a Lego brick 3x3 or just a Lego brick cube. So I'm going to just call it Lego brick 3x3 because that seems like the more appropriate name. So here we go. So here is the building blocks cube, as it says on the top. And a ling out clock. And a speed keep shop card. So we got a lot of things to go through today. So I'm actually going to save the ling out clock for last. So let's start with... The building block cube or I'm just gonna call it the Lego brick 3x3 so there's tape right here I'm really bad at ripping tape so I'm just gonna rip it off and we should get started so we have the cube with itself can't get it out for some reason there we go so the cube doesn't come with the tiles you have to place them on but um just holding this cube it's for some reason warm i don't know why feels pretty weird because of all the places to put the lego on and let's give it some first turns um okay it already has some locking issues Yep, this thing has some locking issues, like right here, it just locks up for no reason. See, look, again, it locked up for no reason. Or does it just have bad corner cutting? Okay, they're not, it's not the greatest corner cutting. So, it's just for a collector's, it's not for someone I actually do speed solves on. And, let's get started with the Lego pieces. So these Lego pieces are supposed to be on the three by three for each side. So let me just put them on right now. Okay, so I already put on all of the Lego pieces and it looks pretty good, but it does feel pretty weird to turn since it's not really normal to a regular three by three, but the colors look good they look pretty good and um i would recommend this to like a collector for cubes but not to a speed solver because you can't really do um speed solves on this cube because the cube itself um has locking issues and just doesn't turn great so but overall it's still a good cube Moving right on to the Lingo clock. Here it is. The Lingo clock. Looks pretty good. It feels good. So, let's give it some first turns. Kind of has, kind of locks up a little bit. It's kind of locky when you turn the dials. I don't know why. And it gives off a little spring noise. And the pins get, or get stuck for some reason. Because this one I can't pull it down. There we go. And yeah, this pin does not, is not good. Like... Um, if you pay attention, the pin is up. Um, it works decent sometimes, but then sometimes it just gets stuck. Like, there. It's having a hard time going up. So, um, overall it's a 
good starter clock. But, um, it's still overall not good. Oh, and I messed up the center there. I think. So, when you have all the pins down, it does turn okay. So, um, I accidentally messed up the center here. So, um, I'm gonna try to fix that because I have a simulation app. So, I do know how to solve it. So, you're gonna have to watch me do a really slow solve on the clock. So, actually, no, I'm just gonna cut. Cut, and um, you don't have to watch me suffer with this clock. Okay, so I managed to get it solved, kind of, but this one keeps on moving for some reason. And the pins kind of fall down, and they kind of get stuck sometimes. So it just makes solving a more e more harder, not easier. It makes it even more harder because it just overall doesn't turn well, and the pins get stuck a lot. And for some reason, when I'm just trying to solve it, some of the dials move um, without even me trying to move them. Like this one. Um, this one always moves. Or at least these two always move when I'm doing this side. So it makes solving more harder. And overall, this is not a good clock. I don't recommend you buy this because it is not good. And... This is my only clock, and I kind of, um, I kind of want to get good at clock. Well, it's not my favorite event, but I would like to get good at it just because I want to. And now we will do some solves on the Lego 3x3. And let me just go get that set up. And no, we will not be doing solves on the clock because that's going to take forever. Um, I just do one solve. I'll just do one solve on the clock, and then five solves on the LEGO 3x3. So let me get my timer, and we shall start doing some solves. Okay, so I already got my timer, and I have the cube. So let's just scramble it up, which is pretty hard to do, since it's a LEGO cube. Okay, looks like a good scramble. And we shall begin. This sub is not going too well. There's a bunch of locking. And it just overall does not really do well for just speed solving. Wow. 51 seconds. That is not good. Not good at all. Especially on this cube, but this cube just makes solves not go fluent since all the Lego pieces and the cube are not good. They, the Lego pieces make the cube feel different and the cube is just not good in general. And also, I'm not going to do a solve on the clock because it's I just don't want to go through that suffering again. Because this clock is not good. So, let us do another solve. Another lock up. Another one. For some reason, this key just locks up for no reason. And it's really frustrating.
well, 58.06. That wasn't a good solve either. So, I don't really like solving on this key because it doesn't really turn well. So, I'm not going to really put effort into this on these solves. But, um, I'll try. I'll try to put effort into the solves. Even though every time I do try to put effort in, my fingers just hurt really badly. Oh yeah, I forgot. Can I corner twist? Nope. It cannot corner twist. So, inspection. And we will begin. Okay, 48 seconds. Finally, not a 50 seconds. Because these saws are not looking well. But it's fine, because I won't be using this cube anyway. Random lockup while scrambling. Not surprising. This is our fourth soul, four out of five. Let's begin. Lock up again. Not surprising. This cube just locks up too much. Fifty two seconds. Another not good solve. And this will be our final solve. And once again, I'm not solving on this clock because this is just a pain. And as you can see, this dial just turned, these two dials turn for no reason when the pins are all up. So another reason why this clock isn't good. Anyway, let's do our final solve. Another lockup. And it just gets stuck. And, oh, I just reset the timer accidentally. Um, it was a 57.62. So, 
Final thoughts. This cube, good for collectors, but not good for speed solving. And on the laying out clock, not good. Don't buy it. So, um, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.